Hello everybody, my name is Sniper and Scott and I welcome you all back to the next top 10 list I'm going to present to all of you here on YouTube. This time, I'm going to be tackling a subject of not even just one list, but it's going to be multiple lists over the next couple of weeks, months, or whatever, of basically my favorite video games for each individual system I have played and owned over the years. And I, if you've been keeping up with my channel over the last... I don't know, X amount of years, when I used to do those old slideshow, you know, top 10 lists back in the day, this actually, these lists were actually done back then, just slideshows with music. And I have tackled a subject like this before. I wanted to revisit those, like I basically told you I revisited the, the, let me start this over. Hello everybody, my name is Sniper Spun, and I welcome you all back to my next top 10 list I'm going to present to all of you here on YouTube. This time, I'm going to be tackling a favorites list, just like I... <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Sniper Spun, and I welcome you all back to my next top 10 list I'm going to present to all of you here on YouTube. This time, today, this top 10 list is going to be me going back and looking over, a start, in fact. This is going to be a start of a series I'm going to be doing with my top 10 lists, where I'm going to be basically naming my top 10 favorite games for each individual system I basically played, owned, grew up with, and whatnot. And for those of you who actually have kept up with my channel for years, back when I did my old slideshow top 10 lists, the, this concept was actually done back then. I did various favorite game top 10 lists on systems and whatnot. But I wanted to revisit that because I wanted to actually go look over it again, like actually take more time to do my list because back then I mean, the lists were kind of crappily thought and put together. And I actually wanted to detail it this time because back then it was just a complete slideshow. It was basically just music playing over a slideshow. I want to actually, you know, show to you talk to you, mention to you all the reasons why I like these games and actually give information on like my enjoyment and love for the games for these systems. And what better place to actually start than what was essentially the beginning for me in terms of my love for video games, in terms of me being a gamer and whatnot, the Super Nintendo. Now, back then in the 90s, I also grew up with the original Game Boy as well, around the same time as the Super Nintendo. And that's going to get its own list another day. I will eventually get on to my top 10 favorite original Game Boy games too. But I wanted to start where my major console gaming love really came from. And that was the Super Nintendo. Back then, in the 90s, growing up, family and friends playing games all the time. Basically, it was a much simpler time, being in elementary school and whatnot. A lot of these games were very impressionable on me. Like, pretty much any game person growing up playing video games back then are now... They're the earliest games you play, no matter what system they're on, are pretty darn impressionable to you. And the Super Nintendo was one of the most impressionable game systems I pretty much ever played because it was basically the start for me. It was my introduction, basically, to gaming, you know, outside of obviously playing the Game Boy and playing the Genesis with friends and then eventually on PlayStation 1 and 64 and whatnot. But just, I digress. The Super Nintendo was basically the major start for me in terms of playing video games and my love for video games. So what better place for me to start than at the beginning? And this is going to be my first top 10 list of my favorite games for a system, starting with the Super Nintendo. And this is going to be part one, numbers 10 through 6. I hope you guys like this video. I do not want to go any further with the introduction because I want this video not to take forever when you watch it. I want it to be super long. And let's get started with number 10 so I can present to all of you my favorite Super Nintendo games. Let's get this rolling with number 10. Number 10 goes to Saturday Night Slam Masters. Now, I only ever rented this, as far as I can recall my brain, once back in the day, and it's because I liked fighting games a lot back then, and it was basically, I was barely starting to get into wrestling at the time. I didn't really watch wrestling too many years later, but I did see a little bit of wrestling on TV. I liked it because I liked fighting games. People fighting is pretty much like a, I was an average boy, I guess, that like just 
watching Power Rangers and watching all these action-oriented shows like G.I. Joe and whatnot and seeing these people just beat the crap out of each other. But yeah, wrestling though, Saturday Night Slam Masters was one of, like back then I, I enjoyed it a lot. The concept, It was a Capcom style fighting game in terms of wrestling and you, and you basically if you watch my videos lately I've included characters from this in this franchise on top 10 lists before. And I just really loved the game. It was it was so fun. It had such interesting characters like Scorpion and Gunlock. Mike Haggard from the Final Fight series is in there, and all these other characters. Was, I was always El Stingray. He was like I love the I love Max Wrestlers back then. I was a big Luchador guy. I probably recall seeing some sort of Ultimo Dragon, Rey Mysterio, something match on WCW. That's probably why I, I, I was a big superhero fan. Obviously, you know, typical boy. And I was always playing the same. Nowadays, I love more of like the Scorpion and Gunlock. But yeah, there you go. But like I said, and then I, when I ended up buying the game years later, and this was a couple years ago, when I had to get another Super Nintendo collection because my original Super Nintendo collection back in the day, I ended up selling stuff and getting rid of it because I was going to play another idiot. But then I was like, okay, I got my Super Nintendo. I probably said this to many <laughs> on the YouTube video before. Got a Super Nintendo for my neighbor, and then I decided to rebuild my collection again. This was one of the games I went and sought out because I loved the game so much, and I love it a lot now because now I remember my memories from back then, and then play, and playing it now, and it's just just such a fun game just to do you know, tag team battle royales or single one on one matches, and it's just a nice, quick, arcadey fighting wrestling game with you know a non license. It's and it's in the Capcom universe, so you basically get like Mike Hagar and people like this, and they're in the Street Fighter universe basically. And it was just such a fun game. And for people who liked wrestling back in the day, I'm assuming if you had a Super Nintendo, you probably liked this game too. And I would strongly recommend it for if you want to go search out for an old wrestling game, or at least, or, or at least a wrestling game that's not licensed by like WWE or WCW, WWF, TNA, or whatever, New Japan. Here's an original wrestling game that you're going to probably have some fun with. And I would recommend it because I think it's one of the best wrestling games I've ever played. And the characters and the music are so good. It's Capcom. It's classic Capcom. And their music always was awesome back in the day. From Mega Man to Final Fight to Street Fighter to Saturday Night Slime Masters. That was my number 10. This is going to be my number 9. The original Donkey Kong Country because it was such a fun platforming game. Like, back in the day, like, you know, platforming was big on Nintendo back in the day. Nintendo, like, well, it was that big in the gaming genre, you know, gaming scene in general, but Nintendo had a lot of platforming games on, you know, for their franchises back then, even though they still do to this day. But this was the introduction of a new type of Donkey Kong like back in the day, which is basically arcade, Jumpman, Saving Pauline and whatnot, which is all awesome and good. This actually gave pretty much Donkey Kong a major character, made him the main character alongside the introduction of Diddy, and it was such a fun platforming game. You could play two players with a friend, it had nice see, like see, <laughs> like 3D rendered style like graphics they kind of did to make the models, which was actually kind of unique for the time because most games didn't look like that. Most of them looked like a Mario or a Sonic, like legitimate like pixel art. <laughs> this was actually different in terms of look, the music was fantastic. Like, really, the, the music was so good. It was such a freaking hard game. I actually quite literally never beat it yet. <laughs> yeah, it was so hard. I never got to around beating this game. And it was just so fun back in the day. I always remember playing it with like friends and family. And then when I got my Super Nintendo collection again, I saw it out again. And I'm trying to beat it now, although I haven't had a chance to really play it a whole lot lately. But, or got back to it, I should say. It was such a fun game back in the day. It was like, made. it was basically besides... The Donkey Kong arcade port, you know, the game on the Game Boy was my introduction pretty much to Donkey Kong. He was one of my favorite characters back in the day. And it was such a fun game on the Super Nintendo. And there you go. That was my number nine. Let's go on to number eight. Super Mario World! <laughs> How can you not have a top ten Super Nintendo? Nintendo games without some sort of Mario game on there, or top 10 Nintendo systems in general at all, without at least one Mario game on there. Super Mario World, technically the fourth Mario Brothers game, was such an awesome platforming game back in the day. It was just, like I mentioned with Donkey Kong, it was such a fun platforming game. You have the music, you have the levels, you have the... 
it basically took what the original Nintendo Mario Brothers games did and kind of amped it up. Now, you could say whatever you want. Oh, Mario Brothers 3 was better. Mario World, Mario 2, Mario Original, whatever. Like, I'm not here to dictate which one's better, which one's not, which one's your favorite, which one's not. But I did love Super Mario World. And it was one of my introductions to Mario. Now, back in the day, like I said, Donkey Kong was basically just the Game Boy game and Country. But there was multiple occasions that Mario I was introduced back in the day to. And this was one of them, and it was such a good start for me, at least for my love for the Mario franchise, even though it's not my favorite Nintendo franchise. It's, if I recall, I did do a top 10 favorite Nintendo, like, with my top 10 favorite Nintendo franchise list. It was, I th I think only barely made the top 10, top 5, <laughs> like 5 or 4. <laughs> um, but I can enjoy it. Like, it it's, it's classic Nintendo music, Mario themes that you will love, good gameplay, good, you know... It's classic Mario, and if you love the 2D Mario games, this is a must-try. If you have not played this game and you love 2D Mario games like the new Super Mario Bros. series, or you played the classics on the NES or whatever, and you have not played this, I would strongly recommend you play this game. <laughs> That's number eight. Let's get on to number seven. Another Mario game in Super Mario All-Stars. Now... <clears throat> I loved Mario World, and I basically just mentioned that a few seconds ago, <laughs> and I loved it. But I would say I loved Super Mario All-Stars a little bit more, and it might be cheating because it's a collection game, but I really don't care because it was one of my favorite games growing up. You get the original Mario Brothers. Mario Brothers 2, which was, you know, Doki Doki Panic. You get Mario Brothers 3, and then you get Mario Brothers Lost Levels, which is the original Super Mario Brothers 2 in Japan. And if you got the version with Mario World on it, you have five games in there in general. I never had that version. I had Mario World separate from All-Stars back in the day. So, yeah, there you go. But it's all these classic games. It's multiple Mario games at once. You get to have all these different Mario games with, like, upgrades. Like, you know, they, they remade them with Super Nintendo-style graphics. They look better than they did on the NES. And they added a game that we never at the time got a chance to play, which was Mario Bros. 2, because they thought it was too hard for Americans. <laughs> yeah. That's Nintendo for you. Um... But I remember, I think I remember enjoying this a lot more than Mario, not just Mario World, not just because of more games on it, because I actually really enjoyed a lot of the, the music, the classic, like the classic music from the Super Nintendo, you know, from the NES games on the Super Nintendo, and, you know, I just, I think I enjoyed the world more and something with this, and I, and I think I remember playing this one a lot more with my cousin I used to, you know, live with and my friends than I did Mario World, so I think this one might have a little bit more nostalgic memories for me in terms of playing it with other people than Mario World, which I think I did play with my cousin and all that too at the time. But I think I did, this was one I think that actually I had more nostalgic memories of gaming with other people on than the than Mario World. Not saying Mario World's worse than this or not, because that's all subjective. I think I just put this a little bit higher on the list more so because of my memories for this game than, than anything really. You know, basically that. And it's such a good game. If you've not played this either... Well, you, you don't have to go and search out for an expensive Super Nintendo cartridge. You can go get the Wii 25th Mario Anniversary Edition, which I also have of this game. Because I had to get that because I love Mario. <laughs> Jeez. You know, I still want to go out and search for an actual Super Nintendo copy because this has been one Super Nintendo game I have not had a chance to get back in my collection since I was a moron back in the day and got rid of all my Super Nintendo games like an idiot. <sighs> but it's going to be in my collection again one day. So there's that. And now we are on to number six. And this is going to be the last one for this part of the list, part one. So let's see what that could be. Street Fighter 2. Now, <clears throat> the original Street Fighter 2. And I know that's technically the worst version of it because it was the original version in the Turbo and New Fighters and Championship or whatever they also did, but the only Street Fighter game back in the day on Super Nintendo that I actually was, you know, exposed to was the original Street Fighter 2. I didn't get to play all the extra additional versions until I got that anniversary collection on the PS2. This right here, the original version with only eight characters, the original eight of I Honda, um, Zangief, Guile, Chun-Li, Ryu, Ken, Dalzim, and I'm missing someone. Well, um, Blanca. Um, that was the version I had. And this was probably one of my original fighting games, and probably one of the major reasons why I love fighting games now. You kind of get to tell, because a lot of my top ten lists, and a lot of things I've been talking about recently, like Smash Brothers, have been about fighting games. 
but this was one of the first. And this, like I said, basically mentioned with like Donkey Kong Country and Mario World and Mario Brothers, you know, All Stars, Mario All Stars. This was a major game, like in like especially pretty much all these games probably would have kind of attributed to this. At least most of the games on this list would have been attributed to me playing with other people, whether it be family or friends. Would have been me playing multiplayer at the time. And this was a strong, strong, like, game back then for me, multiplayer. I, I mentioned the cousin I used to live with. We would always play this, and she would always kick my butt so bad. <laughs> like, oh, she's, she's older than me. I was, like, what, like, six at the time? And she was, like, double my age, basically. So she understood the game better, I guess, and just destroyed me all the freaking time. I can get pissed me off a whole lot. If I recall, I have no clue now. My memory for that is kind of faded a little bit, which is pretty normal um but i remember playing and also i think this is one of the few games at the time i was actually actually able to get my mom to play too and i'd play multiplayer with her battling her out i think i beat her more often than my than my <laughs> than i ever beat my cousin but and any friends that came over at the time but this was this is probably just like mario all-stars just like super mario world just like donkey kong just like majority of games on the list they're gonna pretty much be seen in was a big, big multiplayer game. It was such a good fighting game. Interesting characters and movesets. I sure as hell did not know how to do a freaking Hadouken back then. Um, I do now. Um, or any of the special moves, really. I just button mash, which I think a lot of people actually kind of do with fighting games. Um, and the music is so good. And the game is so freaking hard. And I've never been able to beat it. And I, I can't stand Vega. He is so annoying. Balrog's annoying, Sagat's annoying, and I've never been able to beat M. Bison. I made it as far as M. Bison. He keeps kicking my ass. Jeez. I've never beat <laughs> him. I forgot. <laughs> I made it that far, and I tried, and I tried, and I tried, and I raged so bad. It's probably one of the most raging moments for me in gaming, and I cannot beat him. And all of, and the stupid AI for like, some people like Vega was so freaking annoying with him climbing the cage. Oh, my God. One of my introductions to the fighting game genre, and easily probably one of the major reasons why I love that genre so much. And that is my number six, and that's it for my part one of this top ten list. Stay tuned again, coming back in the next part, part two, when I talk about numbers five to one with all the honorable mentions. I hope you guys like this list so far. Put in the comment section what you guys think about this list, and name some of your favorite Super Nintendo games. And I welcome you all back to watching part two. See you all in the next part. Bye.